In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and it just allows you to be able to get access to all of the videos that I do here on the channel. I do videos every single day that are designed to help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And today, we're going to be spending some time diving into the bunch tight end, which I believe is the best offense in Madden 21 if you run it the right way. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, if you want to get my complete gun bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It actually breaks down the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trip tight end offset from the New York Jets playbook. So it's an entire Jets ebook that basically has video and written setups that will literally transform the way you play offense. If you have struggled on offense at all in the last couple of months, this offense is absolutely insanely difficult to stop. At the end of the day, it does come down to your ability to read and throw the ball to the open receiver. But if you've ever struggled getting receivers open, this offense will give you the routes that you need, will give you the setups, and will give you the guidance that you need to be able to be successful. So if you want to learn the best offense in Madden 21, I'm going to leave that in the description. Now in today's video, we are taking a deep dive into the bunch tight end. I want to be sh I want to share with you kind of um, a couple of things here. So the first thing that I want to share with you is your audibles. So basically what we want to do is we want to put the PA boot over as our number one play. PA boot over is the play that we want to run the majority of the game because it's a play that will force your opponent to have to adjust a very specific way. Once your opponent begins to adjust that way, then we can basically counter and do some things off of that. So um, that's kind of the starting point for this. Now, um, what we're going to do is we are going to generally want to run with our bunch or our three wide receivers to the wide side of the field. So even if your quarterback is right-handed, some people would tell you that you only want to run it to the side of your quarterback because you always want to be able to threaten threat the rollout. In my personal opinion, you can do it on both sides. I would rather um, make sure that I always have the threat of being able to flood the left side of the field because it's going to transform the way your opponent is going to have to play defense. So the plays we're going to be going over today is we're going to be going over the PA boot over. We're going to be going over the inside switch, the tight end corner, and the play mesh. And every single play is going to basically look exactly the same. That's the beauty of the bunch tight end. It has the ability for every single play that you need to be successful to look exactly the same. Now, the first coverage I want to share with you how to beat is the um, Mike Blitz 3. A lot of people ask me, how do you beat Mike? How do you beat the Mike Blitz 3 in Madden 21? Here's the easiest way for you to be able to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to call the play P boot over. You're going to smart route the square receiver right here, as you can see. You're going to put your tight end on a delay fade. You're going to double team this guy right here. And then you're going to motion this square receiver to the left. And basically, you're going to roll out here to the right side. And essentially, this crossing route will always get open on the sideline for you. Now, if the crossing route is something that, you know, you don't want to throw, maybe they're using that, you know, maybe they're doing some things to take that away, you know, whether it be an adjustment here or whatever, that's going to allow you to have other options, okay? So it's not the only options that you have to have. Another option on this is as you're rolling out, you're just going to flick your right joystick up. It's going to playmaker him up right there. And as you can see, I can throw that ball on the sideline for a very, very easy completion. The next thing that I want to share with you is how um, you can leverage this against Mike Blitz 3 in terms of the delay fade to the tight end. Uh, the delay fade to the tight end is one of the most underrated. It's not necessarily underrated, I guess, at this point, but people just sleep on it. You know, people know it's coming, but they just forget about it. It's so easy to forget about. But basically, as you're going out here, you're just going to release him here. As you see, he got caught up a little bit there. But as you can see, nice little route that gets wide open. The beauty of this is that that delay fade will also get open against man-to-man -man coverage, which is really where the glitchy thing comes with this, this offense. It's not – the first ad adjustment that you would think you would tell someone to stop the delay fade would be, well, you should just man up the tight end. Well, the problem is whenever I roll out, you see that that guy basically turns into a spy, and he's going to occupy the quarterback, and then I can basically get the ball up to the tight end. 
that's one of the many reasons why PA boot over is so effective. I want to give you one little bonus tip for the Mike Woods 3. This is specifically, um, now this, one, this tip is one of the reasons why I really highly recommend having the ability to run this on the wide side of the field because all you're going to do is you're going to streak your square receiver, streak your X receiver, and then essentially what's going to happen is this square receiver is going to kill cover three on the left side. As you can see right there, just gets a, it's an a easy one play touchdown um, that you can easily you know kind of rely on that. Now, if you don't want to do that, maybe you want to do something else, that's where the second play comes in, and that's going to be the inside switch. And the beauty of the inside switch is this leverages a lot of glitches, a lot of things that people you know kind of forget exist in this game. So um, the play is inside switch, and what we're going to do is we're going to streak the triangle receiver, we're going to smart route the X receiver, and we're going to motion that square receiver out to the left side and kind of snap him right about there. What's going to happen is the same kind of thing um, that you saw that that you saw with the other route is going to happen with that triangle receiver. Now, sometimes it does work a little bit better to put him on a fade or to do something like that, but you're going to just see you're going to have consistent success. Now, you might need a smart route him. Um, let me show you this real quick here. But again, it's this basic concept. It's a streak post concept. That's that's really what we're trying to show off here a little bit. But basically, we smart route him, and this is more kind of what we're looking for. But basically, as you can see, gets him over the top and gives you an opportunity. Now, if you have any, if you're running into issues with this, this could be due to the placement of the ball, kind of where things are. Um, those are all kind of little elements that you know are you know s significant. But you know, another thing you could do. There's just so many options here. So, uh, inside switch. One other thing I want to share with you on this play is from not from a bomb perspective, but just from a, a you know an easy way to beat Mabel coverage. So as you'll see here, um, and that's primarily as you, if you watch that, if you watch that around the right, that's a ten yard uh, purple zone to a short side of the field. Now it's going to do a good job against what you just saw, but the problem is what most people forget about with bunch tight end is how good the quick throw to the running back is. So if I just quick throw here to the running back, you're gonna see I can basically just get up field for an easy five to 10 yards. The beauty of this is it's going to force your opponent to have to basically prepare for the flats. He's not gonna be able to drop those curl flats back to 10 yards. He's gonna to have to play those at five. When he has to play those at five, we're just gonna illustrate that basically with a yellow zone, but essentially they're gonna be way too far down to be able to handle this corner route to the tight end. And as a result, that tight end corner route is gonna be very, very consistent for you on the sideline. So that's another setup for you. The next play that we wanna go over is inside zone. The beauty of inside zone is we just wanna make this look exactly like everything else we're doing. So we're gonna do a couple fake hot routes. We're gonna motion this guy to the left. And then essentially we're just going to, you know, kind of rock and roll. As you can see, good blocking and very simple little inside zone run play. The next thing that we're going to be sharing with you is the play tight end corner. Now, tight end corner is one of the most underrated plays uh, in the game. The reason why is because people just don't quite understand how to use it. But basically, we're going to smart route the circle receiver. We're going to streak the X receiver. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the R1 receiver. And you can either put him on an option route or you can put him on a little in route. Okay, it's up to you. I love the little in route to the running back. And then we're going to motion that square receiver out on that out route. This is a really, really good play for um, zone drops. If that was a 30-yard flat that that corner route was able to get over. It comes back to spacing. It comes back to having the wide side of the field available at all times. Whenever you have the wide side of the field available, it's actually very common for your opponent to do something like this. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to care about the flats, but we're not going to care about the corner route to the left because PA boot over, there's not a corner route to the left, right? It's just a crossing route. So we're going to kind of prepare for that. Well, once they start preparing for that, they will leave themselves vulnerable here on this backside for that little corner route to the triangle receiver, just like that. Another reason I really like this play is for what it does to the left side, or I'm sorry, I apologize, the right side of the field. Uh, and the reason I like the right side of the field is basically what's going to be happening is we've got that post streak combo. And the reason that that's significant is you're going to see that this circle receiver will get over every single zone drop in Madden 21. As you see right there, it just gets all the way over very nicely for an absolute laser. So there you have it. There's 
um, for several plays. And so what's going to happen is, as you see, they are going to start doing different types of zone drops to try to take this away. They're going to do Mabel coverage. They're going to try all these things. The beauty of the bunch tight end is you have this play mesh here. And if, essentially all we're going to do is we're just going to streak triangle. We're going to put the tight end on a delay uh, crosser. And then what we're going to do is run a smart routed option round on the left. By motion, it's the same motion, looks exactly the same, except this time, now we're working that corner route on the left side. That's the beauty of bunch tight end. The offense has plays that can look exactly the same, but take the defense in completely opposite directions. That's why the bunch tight end is so effective, and you can learn the bunch tight end in a very, very simple format. If you want to get my entire offensive guide that breaks down the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trip tight end offset, how to run them all as individual schemes, and also how to run them as a cohesive scheme, you can get that offensive guide for just 15 bucks in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if it was helpful by leaving a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And like I said, if you want to get that complete gun bunch tight end offensive guide, it is available in the description.